Well, here we go from the heart of South Yorkshire this afternoon, live from the Magna Centre. Where better to be than in the home of Steel in the Steel City of Sheffield for today's press conference. A very good afternoon to everybody and welcome to Fight Week. This Saturday, Rhiannon Dixon and Terry Harper will finally collide after plenty of frustration and delay for the WBO World Lightweight Championship. And it's all live right here, the home of boxing on the zone. Brandon, uh, your first Southpaw. Yes. Callum Turnbull. Excited at the prospect of fighting a southpaw? Uh, were you even aware that he's a southpaw? Or is it well, just another opponent for you? I've had, uh, I'm not prepared for a southpaw. I've had, <laughs> I don't want to fight a southpaw. A southpaw? You Who wants to fight a southpaw? <laughs> now, it's worked out rather ironically because I went to, on a sparring camp with Sonny Edwards, southpaw. All through this fight camp, I've been sparring with Thomas Asomba, southpaw. Went up to lead sparring, southpaw. Now, if there is a god up there, he's been looking over me because it's worked out so ironic that I'm now fighting a southpaw. But this is, a new, again, a new challenge for me to face. My first southpaw, you know, my southpaw virginity. It's a big... It's a, it's the, always get back to that. <laughs> always get back to that somehow. It was a great time in my life, Jamie. Leave me reflect back to her, OK? Obviously, world out. It brings unbelievable pedigree into this fight. But what sort of fight is he in for? Peter. Yeah. He's in for an hard fight, mate. I'm coming to win. Fully focused, fully focused myself. Um, mate, I'm coming to win, I'm telling you. What problems, I may say, what problems does Brad pose on Saturday night? Uh, he's a fighter coming to win, determined, isn't he? He's, uh, as you said, British Commonwealth champion. I think he's had three losses, and I think two of them possibly could have been controversial, so... Could have one loss on his record, so yeah, he's a good fighter. I respect him. I've trained, trained my ass off. I'm more than ready. I'm in the shape of my life, and can't wait to show you all what I've been working on, Shati. First defence of your world title. It was weird because when you won the world title, I was in the ring with you after on the zone, and you almost weren't that celebratory. Why was that? because I think I was rubbish. Like, I actually got out of the ring and I was like, that was so embarrassing. And I was like, yeah, you were rubbish too. So, um, no, I feel like I've got a point to prove now. Like, I feel like I didn't even show half of what I could do. Um, so I think that's where it comes from. Like, I'm saying I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Like, it's a bit, sometimes I can't enjoy what I've actually achieved. Um, but no, I'm excited to show everything that I've learned since then. Over five months now, how does it feel when you're referred to as a world champion? I still can't believe it. I genuinely can't believe it, but no, um, I feel like it's just the beginning now, uh, and I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah, so uh, look, winning that title must have elevated your com confidence through uh, to another level. Has it really now made you realise that there's more world honours out there for you, and, and what confidence does it take into this fight as well against Terry? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think it's boosted my confidence massively. I feel like at the beginning, maybe when I was on, you know, DAZN and Matchroom first, I had a bit of like imposter syndrome. Like I had seven white collar fights and you had all these other amateurs on the stage saying like, oh, I've won this and I've won that. And I was like, oh, my God, I've literally fought in nightclubs and I'm, I'm up on the stage with these people. But since winning the world title and going from like Commonwealth to European to world title, I feel like it's boosted my confidence. And yeah, um, now I know I belong at this stage. Final predictions from the Perry? career best performance and for you terry stoppage win okay 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 people Looking. forget that um, on, terry. so people forget that against katarina thanders snapped my hand in the third round um people say i quit on the school stool against sandy and stuff but they can think that um obviously against katarina thanders snapped my hand clean break in the third round went on with dominant performance got stoppage with one hand and um, I think Rhiannon had a, a, t a tough fight against Rhiannon and uh, against Landers, so... I beat her every round. Tough fight. No, I absolutely pieced her up, so it wasn't a tough fight. It we'll was see. a soft stoppage as well. It, it was a soft stoppage. Is Rhiannon Dixon the real deal? How much does Terry Harper have left? Big fights looming for the winner, but both very, very confident in their ability